man. It's next. Shout out PPV, Mr. Circle City. You know, uh, good, good people. So I'm rocking with them to the fullest. PPV, live this motherfucker, man. Who we with? Who we with right now? Next, uh, Demons, West Coast, Sacramento to be exact. Man, uh, Coliseum, Riot, Pin, or all that, man. I just, I'm just a uh, fresh off Survivor Series and uh, ready to talk some shit. Out the gate, out the gate. So you from the, you from Sacktown, huh? Yeah, that's a fact. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's speak about a little about. About uh, Sacramento, you know what I'm saying? Sacramento, California, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Cali is a, 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 a place where, nigga, it, it's a cowboy st uh, a state, bro. You know what I mean? Niggas move how they move wherever they move. Some places don't right. gang bang, you know what I mean? Like Oakland, niggas ain't got gang bangs in Oakland. This, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's speak about Sacramento real quick. And you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's speak about the town real quick. Uh, you being right, from well, Sacramento, I'm, what's about uh, Sacramento? I mean, as far as like the gangbanging shit, there's definitely like niggas gangbang here. Um, no, it's not, it's not, it's not as much as Bloods and Crips as, as it is Hoods and, um, and you feel me, Blocks and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's more, it's more like that. It's less, less organized than LA politics. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but it's, there's, there's def definitely politics going on in Sacramento. But um, yeah, yeah, it, it's a little different than LA. A lot of niggas here, Cali, and automatically think LA and LA politics and different shit like that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I just want to. I just know California. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a state, but everybody don't rock the same. Do different cities, right. you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Right. Like you said, politics. The word politics. Everybody politics isn't the same. You know what I mean? So um, you coming up? Let's speak about you. You know what I'm saying? Next. You know what I mean? Um, how did you come up uh, in, in Sacktown? Um, uh, well, I'm from South Sac, so if anybody know where that is, it's, it's you know, it's not it's not the nicest place, but um. Nigga, just I, I came up. You know, I'm still young, mm -hmm. so I, I started battling. I started battling when I was 16. Mm -hmm. um, but I started on uh, I started on Twitter when I was 14. You know what I'm saying? Started TRL, and um, it, I always tell people like battle rap kind of kind of played a role in in, in um in, like me maturing as a man, not even as a battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I wasn't on a black shooting dice or, or doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing. Skipping class, something like that. You feel me? Um, I'm, I'm at the crib watching battles. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Watching, watching, uh, watching battles or prepping for battles or getting in the mind state for a battle because I was in high school doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. so if I wasn't, if I wasn't doing some, some stupid, I was, I was at, at the crib watching battles and shit. Okay, okay. So let let's get into that. You know what I'm saying? Pause. You know what I'm saying? So you being from Sacramento, you know what I'm saying? Was there a battle scene in Sacramento, or was it just you was just watching it online? You know uh, what I, mean? I, I was I was I ain't know there was a battle rap scene. Like I said, I started on on TRL as a Twitter rap league when we sent them through text so when I was like 14. So I've, I've always been in in like the culture. You feel me? John John was really like the first person to ever know who next. Is and he was new to me to TRL when I was like 15. And okay. um, and that was through the Twitter and, league, yeah, yeah, that's a fact. But uh, I was just you know, once it got to like 16 years old, I'm getting a little bit older. I'm like, man, I gotta start performing, you know, I gotta start doing something with this because I'm actually pretty good. Uh, I started looking for the first Sacramento battle rap scene and I found one, and it was still like on the up and up. Shout out PNR, PNR Battle League, uh, mm -hmm. it was still like on the up and up. But, uh, you know, they, they eventually booked me and I got on there. And then after that first one, it was kind of like, man, this kid is crazy. Like, um, I, I kind of went like mini viral. And this was when, when Unbiased and Angry Fan was still around. Mm. You get know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, so on Facebook, if anybody knows, knows about them and they know, yeah. you feel yeah. me, they were popping. And, and uh, shout out to Blackbeard. This is my relation. This is my relation with Coliseum Battle League happened. You feel me? He was like the first one that. Like he found me and he was like, Man, bro, you the future, you feel what I'm saying? He shared a clip of the battle into like, unbiased and angry fan then that was just ran up. So it was kinda of like after my first battle, like I'm getting success, you know, I'm getting like I'm starting to see 
you know, uh, the gravitation towards me already out the gate. And then Norbs called me and uh, looked me for a PG for my second battle, no cap. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like now, hold said, on, like let me said, let me like let said. me rewind you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you uh-huh. know what I mean? Because yeah, man, you moving you moving fast as hell. You know what I'm saying? Cause I want to know about like certain type of things that influenced you. Like, did you have influences? Cause you you spoke about John 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 reached out to you on the Twitter league. This that and the third. You know John John ain't John John ain't more so. He ain't really reached out to me. He was just a part of the Twitter league. Like he knew about it. You know okay. what I'm saying? So he heard of, he heard about and then he me. He reached more, out. Like it was never yeah, it was never like a cosign gotcha. or a reaching out because at the same time like, like we was just t- Tyson. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't really bad with Oh, we got you, got out. you. So it wasn't yeah, nothing yeah. woom woom concrete. It was just like you can read my bars, but you don't know my right, cadence. Right, right. You don't know right, how right. I can really right. actually rap. You don't know what I look like. You know what I mean? Right, right. Got you, got you, got you. Cause I remember doing shit like that myself. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. So um, let me ask you this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before you started battle rapping, who was your influences? You being from Sacramento, you being um, from the West Coast. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Like my first, my first favorite battler, like my first like favorite guy to watch was DNA. Okay. Um, okay. So I used I used to watch like DNA and Rome. Mm. DNA and Peanut, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like different things, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like the grind time battle. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Grind time. So, uh, grind time was an actual lead that was like on your coast. You know what I'm saying? Not actually, you know what I'm saying? Your city, this, that, and the third. But were you influenced by the grind time type of rap? I won't say that because DNA really wasn't. I mean, DNA was kind of grind time. You feel me? Like when he shot the bomb through his chest, like like that was like the big. <laughs> I the forgot big, about that moment. shit. Yeah, he did do that. That was a prop like yeah, motherfucker. Like, yeah. Yeah, like the big moments was like what what I gravitated more. It wasn't really a specific style or anything. Um, it was just the fact that like the the big hangmakers, the big moments is like yeah, that shit was crazy. And then I just started writing bars, and I was like yeah, this. Like I, and the more I went over it, the more I started performing them. It's like, yeah, I could do this for real. But you gotta understand, like I'm still young, so me being 16, it's like I'm already like I'm already. You feel me? You already already around mm-hmm. when I'm when I'm started. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I I, 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 there was a point where I really watched battle rap all day. You know what I'm saying? Like really watched battle rap a lot. Like studied the game, and that's why. Yes, sir. I to figure it out how I want to come into the game, how I want to do certain things like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So you watching that, you know what I'm saying? So your style, you know what I'm saying? So let's speak on your style. Let's speak on you, young brother. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, how did you accumulate your style? Because everybody has a style. You, you had to watch somebody to really create a, a foundation. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an old nigga. You're like, bro, I used to listen to goddamn Rock Him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that old. You know what I mean? Like, the the foundation, I used to motherfucking steal rhymes, bro, from niggas. You know what I'm saying? Before I actually learned how to rap, bro, on some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? So, did you fucking found a fi- Who was your foundation? Who was your, your. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I used to listen to, like, Eminem and Lil Wayne. So, I always mm. liked the punchline, dude. Like okay. a punchline guy, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I would always, like, like it got to a point where I would listen to ciphers, like, in my headphones, like, walking through the site, like, walking through the hallway, people were like, what you listening to? I'm like, bro, this ain't music. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, <laughs> even, I'm not even listening to music. Like, I'm listening to battles, or I'm listening to ciphers, mm-hmm. trying to hear people what they say, you know, the punchlines and different things. So when I first started battling, I was, and, and again, the TRL, like TRL was so punchline, you only had 140 characters. Mm-hmm. You couldn't really scheme like that. You couldn't really take angles. You, you couldn't really straight to do it. anything. But yeah, you you had to do, use punchlines. You feel me? Like there was no really anything else to do. So um, like when I first started, I was like, oh, I've always been a punchline guy. But when I first started, like my cadence was, you know, my cadence was a little fast. My my flow was a little fast, and it, it just took a couple battles to get to like fine tune, find the perfect pace, and the different things like that. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's fire. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to know about guys' mechas. You know what I'm saying? Like how you started. 
and this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, let's speak about a couple leagues, you know what I'm saying? So, once you uh, got established with your uh, cadence, you learned who you are, you know what I'm saying? So, who gave you your first chance, battle rap-wise, on your side? Uh, QVD. A uh, guy named QVD. That was the, like, the president or the owner of uh, PNR. So, he booked me for my first battle. And, um, like I said, it just went up from there. It just went up from there. I kind of got crazy, and it was like, damn, this kid's 16. He ain't, he ain't even pushed. Mm. Okay, so you was a, you was a young nigga. So, um, uh, was that a three-rounder? One-rounder? Yeah, yeah, three-rounder. Neck versus J-Money on PNR. It was the first battle I ever did live. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, you was a young nigga putting in that smoke. You know what I'm saying? Three-round. You know what I mean? Because, you know... One rounders is like the more popular thing, you know what I'm saying? Did you uh you got booked for that? Did you it was requested for that or you wanted that? Cuz some niggas don't like doing three just, rounders. I was just trying to I was just trying to battle, bro. Like it was it was just it, like I said I was already used to writing bars. I was already I already had a lot of material in my phone. Like it was just to the point where okay, I need to I need to get this off. Like I need to I need to have footage so I can send it to different places and get Hit the push, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just was looking to battle. It wasn't no time limit, no, no round. Like, bro, I just need to, I need to show up and, and rap. That's solid. That's solid. You know what I'm saying? So you got buddy together. You know what I'm saying? You were 16. You know what I'm saying? Young bull, young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga in the game. You know what I'm saying? So um. How did you progress from there? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get to where you are now. You know what I'm saying? How did you progress from there, brother? Uh, I got stuck. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of got stuck in the PG circuit for a long time. Like I said, my second battle was a PG. So I got stuck in that circuit of, of getting booked and battles not dropping and, and different things like that. And it got to, you feel me, it got discouraging a little bit. Like, it's like, damn, am I doing something that I shouldn't be doing? And it was kind of like, are they not really rocking with me? Different things like that. But like, I always tell people, like, I'm grateful for the past because if I would have got instantly on URL when I was 16, 17, when I thought I was ready, I wouldn't be what I am now. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm, now I'm 21 and I feel like nobody could be you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so experienced that the people in my class don't have a chance of catching up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, okay, boy. That's spicy talk right there, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay, so, um, let me ask you this. You know what I'm saying? What What is the, uh, what is the separator? You know what I'm saying? That you think that you have over people in your class. Let's speak on your class before we move on. You know what I mean? Uh, star power, man, and, and I feel like nobody really doing like, like I, I think I got the probably the best pen in my class. Um, but but when I say pen, it's not even just that because I know a lot of people think performance is my best attribute. I know a lot of people think my flow is my best attribute, my aggression. Like I feel like I just got it all right now, and then on top of that, you know, I got the image, I got the star power, the the, the, the pure like it factor that you all real looking for that they had trouble finding a lot of times and, and that's why they trying to do these crucibles to get get the stars, you know what I'm saying? Weed out the stars and get them to push because during the PG process it was like the stars would get lost. You know what I'm saying? If the bat if your opponent didn't do good then they didn't get to see you. If you didn't do good, you didn't get to see you know what I'm saying? Like it was just a lot of vaulting going on and even on the West Coast it was like most battles ain't really dropped like that. So the stars were getting stuck. But now that they're like, like when the Crucible came around, because I don't know if you know, but I was originally in the Crucible. Like, I wasn't even supposed to be on Survivor Series. Wow. Um, no, I didn't know that, brother. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. I was I was still in the Crucible. Like, I, I had performance of the night at the first round of the Crucible. And then I did Unity against J. Roan. And, um... Uh, shout out J. Roan from uh, St. Louis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout yeah. out to J. Roan. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. I hear you. Yeah, that, that's... That's the that's the battle that kind of got everybody's eyes on me when that dropped. Jazz started co-signing me. Mm. Uh, P. Debo, Loso, you feel me? Like all the top names. Gotti already knew about me because I battled DG Gotti a while back. So Gotti kind of already knew knew that I was fired. Okay. But like all the 
all the names from like the East Coast, and then P kind of made an announcement on Twitter, like, next Ben Fire, he's been doing PGs, I'm going to pull him out the crucible. I think he deserves to get pulled out. So I was like really the only name that got, got that announcement, got, got taken out the crucible early, and they put me on Survivor Series. And then, uh, yeah, and then Survivor Series happened, and I, I got crazy. Okay, so let's speak about Survivor Series. So, uh, so no, nah, let, let's rewind. You know what I'm saying? Because that's fire. The fact that you know what I mean, uh, niggas seen you versus Jay Rohn, and then they felt like you was a standout. You know what I mean? So, I, like, yeah. like you just doing what you felt you needed to do, and motherfuckers was like, yo, this nigga. Like, bro, that's yeah. like for real, man. When you get uh, praise for your art. Sit, you sit down and write. That makes you feel away. Like, man, how did that make right, you feel, right. bro? Like, goddamn, these niggas is fucking with my pen, man. How did that make you feel? Right. I mean, I, like I said, I always knew that I had had it. You know what I'm saying? I always knew that I was going to end up in this situation, being on URL. That's why I kind of went five years without without stopping, even though I wasn't seeing the success. Like, I knew the talent was there. The, the pure, like, will was there. So now it just feel I don't really feel a way about people feel about the cosigns I'm getting. Like I just feel like it's deserved. You know what I'm mm. saying? When it's when it's undeserved and, and you can't really you you never seen it happen, then it's like, oh man, I'm just shocked. Nah, I'm not really shocked like that. Like twerk post and saying I'm the next big thing in battle rap makes sense to me because that's how I see myself. You know what I'm saying? It's no surprise to me. It's like, okay, they finally they finally starting to realize that uh we got something here. I feel you. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that, that's the flip side. So you feel like, you know what I'm saying, before we talk about Survivor Series, you know what I mean? Like the work I've been putting in, I feel like it's just due. And then the praise I'm getting from my fellow peers, meaning battle rappers, is well deserved. Yeah. No, that's exactly how I feel, bro. Like, like I, like I won't say that I should have been here earlier, even though I feel like that. But like I said earlier, I'm grateful for my for my for my past because now I know everything that I know. I know that I'm that I'm 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 in. You know, like I know that I'm good enough now. Before I was kind of like, why am I doing this right? Like, nah. Now I know I could write three rounds and and know that they that these are or these these are them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm grateful for my past. But at the same time, it's like, man, I, I, I'm deserving of it. I done put in the pain. I done put in the work. I done traveled everywhere. I'm from the West Coast. You see my name on all these different flyers, different states. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done put in that pain. And it just took it just took me battling in front of JVP twice. You feel me? Bills twice, you know, three times. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they see what the fans are seeing now. They seeing what, what Gotti sees, what Jazz sees, what Twerk sees. You feel me? They seeing it too. So it's like, yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, and that's a beautiful feeling. You know what I'm saying? When when you when motherfuckers really recognize your art. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a beautiful feeling. So let's speak about Survivor Series. You know what I'm saying? Recently. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You were just out there in Maryland. That was in Maryland? Uh, Virginia. It was in uh, Petersburg, Virginia. There you go. You know what I'm saying? VA. You know what I'm saying? So um, who did you have out there, brother? General fan. Okay, how did that battle go for you? You know what I'm saying? First of all, um, think, excuse me, excuse me, ahead. brother. How did that battle get set up? Uh, okay, so Funeral Fame battled at the Unity card, the same Unity card I battled at Jay Rowe. And Funeral Fame already was in the URL. Like, I think he was on last Survivor Series, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, but so he was already he was already there. Like I, I was definitely the newer guy. Like or not even a newer guy, but I wasn't in that circuit yet. He was already getting that. He was already in that Survivor Series circuit. But um, he got crazy the same weekend, and we were really like the standout that unity. And Anwar personally, personally, like was like, if I want to see next some people fame. Oh. And then um, Anwar. a couple weeks. Yeah, Anwar. A couple of days after the battle happened. I mean, a couple of days after the battle tribe. He made the announcement that he pulled me out the crucible, and that was the name that they that they gave me was was funeral fans. Oh, okay. So that's how it happened. You know what I'm saying? So shout out. You know what I'm saying? So um, you versus funeral fame. Let's get straight into it. How did that battle end up happening? I mean, uh, how did that battle end up going? Rather, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Uh, 
the first, they say the first is the closest round. I got the last two clear. Um, it's either a two-one clear or a gentleman's thirty. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like I think on camera, it's probably gonna be a thirty because mm. uh, it was, it was. It, he was at, he was at home. He had a lot of the fan support. Like there was only like fifteen people in the building, and out of those fifteen, like ten of them was for fame. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really. I was there dolo. You know what I'm saying? I was by myself there. Okay. And he was at, he was at home. You know, twerk, twerk, and then was rocking with him and shit. But uh, so the first was probably the most debatable. But I think I even got the first, and I like I said, I got the last two clear. But the third was, the third was is the round that everybody talked about. Like it was, it was back to back. Okay, so let me ask you this, man. What was it about your third that you think they were talking about it? Like, what was it? What, just, what was so I special about up. it? I just, I just, I just wrote up. Like, my, I knew when I was prepping for funeral fame. Like, he got so much energy, he dies down. Like he, he has a he has a um, a problem with his first being his best, the second being his second best, and then his third being the the weakest round. So I just did I did the opposite route. I made my first my lightest round, my second a little bit stronger, and then my third I knew it was it was clearly the best round. So once I got to it, I was like I was I was shaking it. I was shaking it a little bit in there. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So that's fire. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, dropping on the app, right? Yeah, that's gonna be on the app. Out the gate, out the gate. So uh, NXT. You know what I'm saying? Next. So uh, let's talk about that name real quick before I let you go. Before I let go, pause. You know what I'm saying? How did you, <laughs> like like that name, brother? Like how did you get that name, and why is that? Why okay. did you uh, choose uh, uh, the name? When when I okay, so when I started on Twitter. Uh, remember, I told you I was on the TRL late, yes, and uh, my my name on Twitter was. And I mean, it's still the same thing. NXT underscore BST underscore THNG one. So next best thing one, and um and uh, niggas just started shortening it like next, next, next. And like I said, I didn't build. John John knew who I was. I didn't built a little bit of a, you know, I mean nothing crazy, but I didn't. Had a couple like fifteen fans on Twitter off of TRL. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I Fuck was like, that, I don't yeah. want to change. Come on in. Fuck that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I, I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna really change. I ain't really wanna change it. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, okay, they already calling me next. They already shortened it to NXT. And then not only that, like the homie that hit back here in Sac, like they follow me on Twitter. They follow the battles on on, on Twitter, and they see everybody else calling me next. And they kind of just like, you know, they started hopping on it. Like, they was calling me next. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the homies, like the homies, um, you know, the homies, homies is calling, they introducing me as next. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So yeah, now yeah. by the time, by the time I, <laughs> by the time I have my, by the time I have my first battle, like, my whole, the whole city, like, they, they that's what they know next. you as. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, right, 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 right. So at, yeah. I'm, I'm in high, I'm in high school, like, and, and walking through the halls and they not even calling me by my real name, like they calling me next. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. so I'm like, I'm mm. like, all right, whatever. I, I'm like, all right, we just gonna rock with it then. And then, um, like I said, after the first battle, you know, I kind of, I kind of uh, got that buzz. So it was too late to change it by then. Hell yeah, you were saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it, baby boy. If it ain't broke, don't right. fix it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, next in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Fresh off Survivor Series, you know what I'm saying? Um, niggas is heralding you the next up, my nigga. How you gonna handle this pressure with the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you got peers, you know what I mean? You know, right. niggas might feel some type of way because I be seeing how niggas talk about you. I reached out to you, right? Right, no, that's a fact. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this nigga next. Oh, I see this nigga. Oh, let me, let me, let me holler at the young boy. You know what I'm saying? Young, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking right. with you as well. You know what I'm saying? But like, how are you dealing with the pressure? Is it pressure? It's not, it's not pressure, man. No pressure. Like, like that's what they were saying before Survivor Series. How you going? How you going to measure up to expectations? Like, how are you going to deal with the pressure? I was trying to explain to them, like, bro, it's no pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was more pressure for me to get them to say what they saying about me mm. than for me to keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. it was harder for me to, to convince them that I'm the next best thing than for me to keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? Now I just gotta do what I do. Now that they, now that I know that they like what they like, they like me. You know what I'm saying? Now that I know that they fucking with me, mm-hmm. I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. 
And if I do that, then they're going to continue to give me that push, continue to say the things that they are saying. Mm-hmm. And um, like I said, after Survivor, you know, I already got the call back from URL. Um, I'm on something bigger and better. You know, it's, it's, the next announcement going to be crazy. It's definitely going to put the culture in a, uh, in a frenzy. That's love. That's love. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. You know what I'm saying? That boy next, man, he up next. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the praise. I'm seeing this. You know what I'm saying? I watch the battles. You know what I'm saying? Boy, you're a dope. Mm-hmm. You're a dope individual, my nigga. You know what I mean? And no, then, that's I, I feel like you're getting what you, you deserve at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, man, you dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? Dope niggas deserve dope moments, and this is your dope moment. You know what I mean? Right. That's love. That's love. Nah, 100. You know what I'm saying? So anything else you got to say to the streets, my brother? Nah, just um, Next versus Funeral Fame dropping soon on the URL app. Um, Next versus Jay Rowan on YouTube now. Uh, watch out for the next announcement, man. I promise y'all, y'all gonna love it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something crazy, something that y'all definitely want to see. Uh, follow me on just, on Facebook, John Next Doe, on Instagram. It's different underscore next on Twitter. Next NXT underscore best BST underscore thing and uh, THNG1. You get what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, stay on the lookout, man. A lot coming. Well, I did, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, baby boy. You winning. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we love you. Right. We, we, we loving you right now in the battle rap community. You know what I'm saying? So right. keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? West Coast, Sac Town. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. PBV, live in this motherfucker with that motherfucker next, man. We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Put your 3D glasses on, then, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.